Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, elegant grid slide effect, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and I called this main comp. Then select rectangle shape tool. Fill color white, and stroke none. Then create a rectangle shape like this. Move anchor point center of the rectangle shape and align the shape left and top side of the composition. Now hit T for opacity, and change the opacity 20%. Then hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon. And type expression, wiggle bracket 1 comma 8 bracket close. So it looks like this. Now duplicate the shape layer, and move forward and align them together, like this. But make sure, there should be a 4 to 5 pixel gap between the two shapes. Then again select both shape layer, and duplicate them. And move them forward and align. Then again duplicate all shapes. And move forward, and align them. Now select all shape layers, and duplicate them. And bring them down, and align them together. Make sure, there should be a 4 to 5 pixel gap between the both row. Then again select all bottom shapes, and duplicate them, and bring them down. Now create null layer. Parent all shape layers with null layer. Hit S for scale, and increase the scale little bit. And also hit Shift P for position, and adjust the position, so that our shape come to the center of the composition. Perfect. Select all layers and pre-compose them, I call this square box composition. Now select the layer and turn on collapse transform icon. Then drag your image into the timeline. Resize the scale according to the composition. We need to fit our character inside the square box shape layer. So drag the image inside the square box area. Then select the image and search motion tile effects. Increase output width and height according to you, and check mirror edges. Perfect. Now go to first frame, and add a keyframe on scale, then go to few second forward and change the scale amount little bit. Cool. Select both layers and pre-compose them. And this is our image 1 comp. Now go to project window, and duplicate square box comp. This is our transition 1 comp. Open transition 1 comp. Select all shape layers. Hit T for opacity. We need to remove the expression of all opacity, so select the all opacity, hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon to remove the expression. Now go to first frame, select all shape layers, 
and change the opacity 0%, then go to 1 second forward and change the opacity 100%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Now we want to adjust the layers randomly, under 4 second, so I am just randomly offset the layers, this is all depends on you. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After adjust the all layers, it looks something like this. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag transition 1 comp into the timeline, select the image layer, and change track matte alpha matte. Here you can see how it looks. Cool. Now drag the transition comp into the timeline, and move forward around one second. Cool. Now select the image layer, and search black and white effect. Change the blue amount around minus 200. Then select the image layer, and search dry tone effect. Change the shadow color dark sky blue, and mid tone white. Now select image 1 and transition layer, and duplicate them, and move above the transition 1 layer. Then select image 1 and delete all effects. And move the transition 1 layer, 1 second forward. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now add some text here, so go to project window and create a new composition. This is called text 1. Select text tool and type your text, now we need to animate the text, so open text layer. Go to animate, and select blur, then select, opacity. Change blur around 30. Opacity 0%. Then open range select a 1, go to advance, change shape, ramp up. Randomize order turn on, then select offset, and add a keyframe, and change the offset amount minus 100%. Then go to 2 and half second forward and change the offset amount 100%. Cool. Now again go to animate and select tracking. Then go to first frame, change tracking amount 15. And add a keyframe. Then go to around 6 second forward. And change the tracking amount 0. Perfect. Now go to main comp, and drag the text 1 comp into the timeline, and adjust where you want and move the layer few frame forward. Cool. Select all layers and pre-compose them, this is our scene 1 comp. Now create new solid layer. Search fill effect. And change the color, light yellow. Then create adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer. And search curves effect. And make your curves according to your choice. Cool. 
Now we want to add second scene, so duplicate scene 1. Then drag scene 2 into the timeline. Open scene 2, now we need to replace the image 1 comp, so select both image 1 comp layer. Then go to project window, and duplicate image 1 comp, now hold alt key, and drag image 2 comp over the image 1 comp layer, now open any one image comp, and change your image. Adjust your character into the square box. Perfect. You can also change the transition one, so select all transition one layer, then go to project window, and duplicate transition one, now hold alt key, and drag transition two over the transition one comp layer, now open any one transition two comp, select all layer, and move and bring all the layers to the first frame. Then again randomly offset the layer. And you can also create some pattern as you like. So again I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. Cool. You can also change the text one comp, so go to project window and duplicate the text one comp, then hold alt key and drag the text two over the text one comp layer, and change your text. I think we should change the image of scene 2. So open scene 2 comp, then open image 2 comp, and change the image. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.